Back in high school, I used to wear this shirt like an awful lot. And it was one of my favorite shirts, but I stopped wearing it because I got like morbidly obese and I couldn't get it to button anymore. But I've lost quite a bit of weight and it buttons up. However, apparently my arms have grown and the sleeves have not, um, have not. Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome to another episode of Just a Bite, where we take just a bite out of games. Now, we have not done one of these in a long time, and I have got a game that I am very excited about today. It's called Astral Chain. I have not watched anything about it. I have not read reviews. I know that it's been getting, like, rave reviews, which is why I bought it, but I didn't want to delve in because I didn't want to ever doing it for myself. I want to experience it firsthand. But if you're not that person and you want to watch someone else experience it for the first hand, <laughs> you're in the right place. Look, I haven't even launched the game yet. I plugged in the cart. I downloaded an update. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Super Nintendo games. They've got A Link to the Past, which I never played before. I played A Link Between Worlds, basically the same game. But uh, I went back and played A Link to the Past for the first time. It was a lot of fun. And I'm playing my way through Mario World now for what I think is my first time. But for some reason, a lot of it is really familiar. I think I might have played it on something on on um uh, uh, mm, let's play Astral Chain. Let's get into this. There's there's an anime girl with like legs and boots. I love boots. Those ones that go all the way up to like the knees. Big fan. Can't wait to see where this goes. Oh, cool. It's one of those cubes from Kingdom Hearts 3. I didn't realize that this was a crossover game. Very much looking forward to this. Oh, we're saving. We've, we've made it that far into the game. We've, we've got our first checkpoint. So, of course, this is a platinum game. They made Bayonetta. I've played Bayonetta 1 and 2. Both are fantastic games. Both are games that require you to be good at video games, which is something I've struggled with since I was a child. I don't think I've ever been good at any video game besides the original Battlefront 2. And even then, I, I just played against bots. Oh, it's a crossover with Halo. It's got the villains from the fourth one, but they're a different color. wonder if that means that they're more powerful. Okay, they move around like the creatures from Until Dawn. If you've ever played that game, I've played half of it. And uh, Jenna refuses to play more. And I am not playing it by myself, so half of it's going to have to work. Also, it's bothering me that that thing hits the window and there's a delay before the controller vibrates. I am playing with the Pro Controller today. This game looks really good. They've certainly figured out how to make graphics look impressive on the Switch. Because let's be honest, it's not a powerhouse. It's a bit more powerful than an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3. Um, closer to the baseline, you know, like Xbox One and baseline PS4 than it is the PS3 and Xbox 360. But it's not quite there. Uh, but if you know how to develop for it, you can make a game look good. This is just a cutscene, but it looks really good. And... Uh, you know, Breath of the Wild looked really good. It got better as well over time. Nintendo updated it. They fixed some of the frame rate issues. Um, wow. Well, that guy's dead now. Unfortunately, it's a shame to say that he's so unfazed. He's so cool. Oh. Okay. This has got to be establishing the story. So I should be paying attention. All right, so we are on the character creation screen, and I am leaning toward UEYO03216. It might be the thigh-high boots and short shorts that's doing it for me. I can't say for sure, but I'm leaning that direction. We get to name her. Oh, we get to give her a name. Oh, okay. Um, do you guys remember my Pokemon video? Meet Jenna, everyone. <laughs> Uh, is she gonna be okay with this? All right, I'm in control now and I have to be careful what I say because I have named the character Jenna and anything I say can and will be used against me on the Discord. Trust me, I know from experience. All right, I'm in control and I am ready to do what must be done. Get to the chopper! We got to hurry before the things come back! All right, I've got my first taste of combat here. I can evade with B, I can attack. Oh, but this is going swimmingly so far. All right, it's very hack and slash so far. I don't know if it gets more nuanced at some point in the future, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I love a good hack and slash experience. Cool. How are we supposed to fight something we can't even see? I mean, I can see them just fine. All right, I've got a chained chimera now, and the poor thing keeps falling over. This just became an entirely different kind of game. That was pretty cool. 
But Jenna's hair turned blue for some reason. What in the hell was that? Oh, good, she's back to normal. I was worried. Oh, no! We killed Jenna! Oh, we killed her! Oh, this is the end of Howdy, folks. Alrondo sent me this song on the Discord earlier. It's a bop! I gotta say, I don't know how this video is gonna flow. Considering for most of that, there was dialogue while I just kind of stared at the screen going... I don't know how that's gonna work in a video. Alicia here is wearing the same shorts we are, but it looks like she's also got on... Black tights, yoga pants, pantyhose... Maybe she's really frostbite and her legs shouldn't be working right now? I can't say for sure. <laughs> duty points. I gotta say, this has one of the best training areas I've ever seen in a video game. So it takes you to the police station right after that opening quest, and you have the ability to skip whatever ones you don't need. Like, I don't need to brush up on movement attacking or locking on. But then some of the things that you maybe weren't too sure about, like Legion movement, Legion attacks, you can pick them, right, and the game just end. tells you how to do it, walks attack, you through it, gets you comfortable with it, you can repeat Legion. them if you need to. I like this. This isn't a review of the game, I've just started playing it, but as a person who doesn't pay attention when directions are initially given to them very often, this is nice. It feels kind of weird to be saying this to my own sister, but... I'm in love with you. Gotta say, it's nice working with you. Okay, good. I thought we were going like a Game of Thrones route here. Yeah, I mean, we can hope, you know. I mean, it's, uh, it's nice to think that everything's gonna work out in the end, but, you know, we all know. All right, so we are now in the, I guess, the second major mission. We're out in the city again, and it's turned into, like, a investigatory game. You know, we're looking for clues as to what kind of a creature caused all of this uh, chaos. So, real change of pace from mission one. I, I like it. Oh, snap! Oh, it's Borok! No, it's not. Oh, it's King Kong! Oh! Oh, that was horrific! I'm not sure if I'm doing this fight right. My, my Chimera is all in pain. Okay, I'm gonna try to wrap him up in my Chimera. Oh, it worked! Oh! Oh, yeah, there you go, there you go, big guy. Just keep smacking him. Does he have a health bar? I've done it, everyone. I am great success. <laughs> oh, that was hectic. This game, I gotta say, there's just something about this game, even though it is hectic and crazy and chaotic and loud and with some really good music, you can somehow, like, get lost in it. I've been playing it for about, jeez, an hour and 40 minutes now. And, well, that's how long I've been recording. And I gotta say, my mind has just been free to wander. Like, the, the gameplay is, is deep, and I got a feeling it's going to get sort of more complex as it goes. It's, it's already proven that to be the case, even this early on. But it's easy to pick up, and it's easy to just let your mind wander to, to deep thinking, sort of while you're playing it, which I very much appreciate. Which, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but these people over here are being consumed by red nonsense and being turned into monsters. It's quite disappointing. Or maybe these are monsters? It's hard to tell. Sometimes they're monsters and sometimes they're people that have been turned into monsters. Check this out, though. You can, like, wrap them up in your chain. And then you just, like, let your, uh, let your guy go crazy on them. It's a great time. I think this is gonna be my first boss battle. Oh, yeah, this is all the signs of a boss battle. Oh! I've been chimera -ed. I'm going to the other side! I think we just got Jenna killed again. Oh. Okay, this guy's got a real red theme. Hold on, we can make this happen. We can make this happen. Here we go. It's boss time, baby. Check it! Yeah! Come on! This is everything that we learned previously in uh, training. Oh, this is straight out of Legend of Zelda. I know this enemy. These guys don't seem to have health bars, as far as I can tell. So I don't know how I don't know how well I'm doing right now. Possibly not well at all. Get back over here. Okay, check this out. Oh! <laughs> so you can catch them in your chain, and then you can fling them, and while they're down, you and your legion can just smack the ever-living daylights out of the guy. Ain't nothing you can do about it. I really do wish that I knew how much health he had, though. Maybe it is on the screen somewhere, and I just don't see it. But um, as far as I can tell right now, I just gotta keep smacking him till he's dead. 
Uh, it'd be much better to use a sword right now. I, I missed my golden opportunity. Oh, I missed my opportunity to smack him. Come on, he's got to be close. He's got to be close. We've been waylaying him. He can't go on much longer like this. Come here, you nasty. Come here. Come here, I'm going to teach you the meaning of pain. Hey! Well, I mean, a lot of good teaching him that did. You know, he's dead now. So it's, it's all that learning's gone to waste. If we're freaked out, think of how those civilians must feel. Time to gut it out, people. I feel like if you cut the audio out of this scene and you just, like, put a, like a dope track underneath it, it would look like some sort of weird dance party. I'm just throwing that out there. The cutscenes in this are like watching a movie. Well, that was a very short-lived victory. My own legions have turned against me now. Well, the one that I had, and everyone else has also turned against them. What was that? We had like some kind of quick time event there. Oh, did I get it back? Cool, I was just figuring out how to dodge to like get into slow mode and then just punch the crap out of them. But this is good. No, I would rather have it back under my control than trying to kill me. Like most things in life. Well, I gotta say, I played the game for about two and a half hours and I really enjoyed it. This isn't a review. This is a first, first impressions, first reaction. Just a bite, just took a bite out of it. And uh, very much looking forward to continue playing it. Uh, I, I don't know what this video is going to be like because there was an awful lot of time that I just spent hammering buttons and slashing away at things while my mind was just a million miles away because it's that kind of game. It's the kind of game where even though it's it's very uh, deep, right? Like as far as your, your abilities go and combat goes, there's a lot of options. It's the sort of thing that once you get into the rhythm of it, you can do it really without thinking, which means that I'll probably be listening to podcasts while playing this game. Otherwise, I will be having fake arguments in my head with people I've never met to just say stupid things on the internet. And I'm like, oh, well, let me construct an argument against you. That's what happens when my mind goes idle. That's why I listen to a lot of podcasts. But hey, this was a lot of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, great, glad to hear it. If you're interested in checking out the game, I'll put a link to it down below on Nintendo's website. And I will see y'all in the next video. I have no other way to end this video. I just, I'm just going right into the outro. Bye! Hello. Hey, welcome to the howdy, folks. Please don't curse or swear. Um. Oh, well, there goes all my fun. I had a question for you. Okay. Do you remember that time I played Pokemon and I made a blonde girl and named her Jenna? I do remember that, yes. Okay, well, my lawyers tell me I need consent to do that again for this anime game where I've made a blonde police officer. Uh-huh. I, I might have to consult my lawyers. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just last time, like, a bunch of people kept running up to me asking me about it. Like, right. I, I couldn't go to the store. I couldn't go out to lunch with my family. It was, like, a constant barrage. Okay, I see, I see. Well, okay, well, uh, what if, and I'm speaking hypothetically here, of course, because I would never do this without your consent, but what if I had already done it? I, I think you would be ruining my life um, personally, professionally. I would never get hired for another wedding. They just want me to be this anime character that you've concocted. Oh, dear.